So this robot is called QA. It's uh, built by a company out of Mountain View, California called AnyBot. Um, basically, this robot is made for communication. So it's a telepresence robot, which means you can teleport your presence anywhere in the world with this robot. Right now, it's being driven by Benji Nelson, who's back there um, at the computer screen. Um, he can talk to me, I can talk to him through this robot. He could be anywhere in the world. He could be in Japan or China uh, and still talking to me through this robot. So I can ask him questions like, Ben, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing very well. What, what's your favorite thing about CES? Well, um, I'm really enjoying seeing all the cool technologies. Oh, yeah? Really it's, fun. That yeah. is really nice. You know, I was just thinking it's kind of funny that you get to stand or sit over there and I have to stand over here. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's nice. That, that is nice. I get to sit down <laughs> during uh, the, the whole show. Yeah, I, I kind of wish we had two of these here so I could do that too. You could just do this through the robot. In fact, you guys don't even need to walk around CES anymore. Instead, you send one of these babies. You log in from your local Starbucks. You sip on your latte while he walks around for you. You save all your feet from uh, any pain that way. Um, basically, Ben, do you think you could turn that way a little bit? Sure. See, the people over there are looking at you. Um, basically, there's a camera embedded in the neck of the robot right here, and you can see yourself up on that big screen. That's what Benji is uh, seeing when he's uh, manipulating this robot. Um, there are microphones embedded in the head of the robot so that he can hear what I'm saying, um, and there's a speaker embedded in the head of the robot so that he can talk back to me and I can hear him. We can have a real two-way conversation through this robot, no matter where he is in the world. There's also a laser pointer embedded in the neck so that if I'm showing him something I've been working on, he can point to things. Um, yeah, just like that. He can point to things on this page and say, I think that chair right here should be blue, or I think that piece needs to be bigger or wider or smaller or something like that. Um, he's got this visual display right here that's actually a touchpad, uh, touchscreen um, display. So if I want to send him sketches that I've done or something, I have this great idea, and I want it to get to him immediately, I can draw directly on this screen, and it sends over to him uh, instantly through, through the internet. Um, he can also change what's on the screen. So Ben, could you could you do something a little bit more fancy? Oh, nice, thank you. So um, as you can see, he's got a picture of a tuxedo up there. Just think about it. Uh, you don't really want to go to another wedding this summer or something like that. You send this guy there instead. You get to be the, the talk of the wedding. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, you kind of get the idea. It's casual Friday. You can put a Hawaiian shirt on. Or you can even put up sketches of something you've been working on. Want to give us a little diagram or something of whatever you've sure. been working on? If you're lost, you can, uh, you can just look at this map and it'll show you oh, exactly where you are. Oh, there you go. So, um, like I said, this is the debut of this robot. This robot, uh, right now we're estimating the cost at about $30,000. Um, and we are uh, looking to start shipping these this summer.